Ms. Hardy. Uh, you have both stated that you're opposed to the North-South Corridor as it was proposed in 1998. How do you stand on particular stages of that plan to improve traffic flow in the city, including the prospect of making 6th and 7th streets one-way corridors? Uh, Mr. Farmer. So I get the first one-minute question. Huh? Um, I'm opposed. Uh, I, I'm not keen on anything going through the marsh, anything that goes through uh, the main part of the city, of course, is going to be going through some neighborhoods. I don't, I don't wish to see that stress put on them. Uh, and then um, I'm not especially enthralled with uh, making 6th and 7th one way. I'm also strongly opposed to any new roads through the marsh. I, I feel that we've got to be working on our existing transportation system, our public transit, looking at rapid bus transit, improving our pedestrian bicycle connections. Um, you know, that's that's the way to go. That's going to be the, the best solution for the city and for our region. Um, and I, I'm also very leery of creating one-way pairs because um, when you're talking about it from a business perspective, you want that two-way traffic in front of you, and to have 6th and 7th Street be one ways, um, that, that's going to create, I think, just uh, you know some issues there. So I, I would really uh, be very concerned about making those kinds of changes. I think we've got the ability um, here, and looking at our existing transportation system and public transit, and working with our large employers to, to solve some of those issues rather than building more roads through the marsh. And we should toss in here that uh, both Tim and I always referenced Dave Miles, our primary opponent, who always made the point that lacrosse was a five-minute city. Everything's within five minutes. George Wildman, next question. A group of UWLC 